My sensors pick up a lot of life forms. They better not be alien life forms. You with me, facts? I'm always with you. Let's go. Hey, welcome to Belgium. First Thank you very time. much. First uh, time? No, I was here about 15 years ago. I did a play here. Great. Yeah. What play was that? It was a play called Walking the Road, and it was in Ypres. In Ypres? No? Yeah. <laughs> Great. Well, first time in Ghent, then. We got a few fans lined up to your left and your right, and we'll just take them all. So, we're just going to start here. Okay, awesome. Come close to the microphone. Yeah, perfect. Hi, how are you? I'm good, how are you? Good, my, so my question is, how did you create the character of Captain Hook for Once Upon a Time and like go through that process of um, developing that character? I put on leather pants and eyeliner. <laughs> that was it. Uh, no, I wanted, um, at first I, I thought I was too young to play Captain Hook, so uh, I wanted to do something different than had been done before, so I wanted to try and make him like a kind of a bad boy character with who was charming but also quite cutthroat. So um, yeah, so that was sort of, I, I spent a, a bit of time working on that. And once you put the costume on then you sort of uh, stand a certain way. So I'm actually wearing, this is a Detective Rogers jacket from season seven. So. Yeah. So, yeah, there you go. Okay. Hello. Uh, I wanted to know uh, what was the um, producer, producer intention about uh, the free adaptation of the show and how do you per, uh, perceive it? What was the producer's adaptation of Hook or of the show? I mean, I think. I can't really speak for Eddie and Adam, but I think the idea was that Once Upon a Time was a show that was about hope. Um, and, you know, at the, at the time when, first, when it first started, there weren't many... Everything was really gritty. Everything was trying to be a gritty show. And so this was a show that was just purely about hope and, and fantasy. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, Colin. Hi, yeah. Hi. Um, your first big movie was The Right, and you were starring up a few big names. So, how was that for you? Was it? Did it feel intimidating? It's pretty intimidating when yeah. your first day ever on a big movie is sitting opposite Anthony Hopkins. is a is a pretty intimidating thing. Um, but I was lucky that um, we we we'd spent some time together leading up to it and I knew that he was really supportive and he recognized the fact that I was working really hard and um, you know that movie was that movie changed my life and it was such an incredible experience also it's coming up to Halloween so everybody should watch it actually I, uh, saw, it, I saw it last night again. good yeah um, it's an exorcism movie called the right uh, and I play a priest and you should watch it please thanks very much but it was incredible, uh, incredible experience. Thank you. Um, hi, um, I was wondering, what was your favorite memory um, of the set of Once Upon a Time? Your favorite My favorite memory from Once Upon a Time? Yeah. Ooh, that's that's tough. That's tough because I I did a hundred and thirty episodes or something like that. So that's like um, probably my favorite memory is my first. My first weekend, we shot a. My first time on set was a. It was a weekend which we didn't normally do, but it was on the Lady Washington, which was the Jolly Roger, and it was opposite um, one of my all-time heroes, Robert Carlyle, and we got to sail out in a proper ship, uh, out in beautiful, beautiful uh, serene scenery in Vancouver, and uh, I was wearing leather pants which I'd never done before, uh, and, and it was great. It was, so that was probably, uh, no, I did, I enjoyed the pants. They were good. So um, yeah, that was probably it. Thank you very much. Thank you. 
Hi again. <laughs> Hi again. I just not find the phone call. <laughs> um, yeah, you're probably gonna get a lot of questions about Once Upon a Time, but I kind of want to deviate from that because everybody knows you from that. Uh, by the way, The Right is uh, on Netflix available in Belgium, by the way. <laughs> the Right is on Netflix in Belgium. Watch it tonight. Thanks very much. <laughs> Now my question is uh, more future related. Uh, are you working on any projects? Uh, are you, are, do you have hopes to work on a project in the future? Like Marvel? He signed an NDA so can't answer anymore. There's a couple of things in the works. Um, I am happy to work on anything that I feel connected to, whatever that is, uh, so if that's a Marvel movie, or DC, or whatever, I'd be, I'd be happy to do that. I'm looking forward to see more of you. <laughs> Thank you very much. Hi Colin. So, I, I was actually wondering with uh, which colleague you had the best bond on set. Oh, I can't answer that. I got on great with everybody. Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna. I mean, obviously, I spent the majority of my time on set was either with Jennifer Morrison or uh, Robin Carlyle, basically. Um, but I'm really close to Sean McGuire, really close to uh, Michael Raymond James, really close to well, lots of people, everybody. So it was kind of we were a very close knit um, cast. I would say overall, probably while we were filming, Jen and, and um, Bobby, uh, I would say then, but there were people who joined for a season at a time that I was close to. Like I, I knew Georgina Haig before she came on to do Elsa, and so we had a friendship from before that and stuff anyway, so yeah. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you. Hi, Colin. Hello. Um, what was your favorite season from Rust Upon a Time and why? Season 2, from about episode 4, it gets really, really good. Uh, that's, when it gets, that's when it gets good. Um, thank you. Thank you. Uh, I think, well, I can't pick one season. I think season 2 because it was my first season. And I didn't really know what I was getting myself into, so... Uh, I didn't realize it was going to be such a phenomenon. So I think season two. Thank you. Thank you. Hi. So Regina had a lot of nicknames for Hook. I was wondering what your favorite nickname was that Regina gave Hook, and if there were any funny nicknames behind the scenes you had for one another. I think Captain Guyliner. It's going. Uh, what was the second part of the question? If there were any nicknames behind the scenes. Nicknames behind yeah, the scenes. Yeah, like you had to one another or something. I don't know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna answer that. <laughs> yeah, so that's a yes. No, Captain Guyliner was my favourite. Not giving it. I'm not saying anything else. Hi, Colin. Hello. So, as you see, Emma Swan today for me. <laughs> I just want to know uh, if you did all your stunts yourself or you had to stand in. I did quite a lot of stunts. Um, I tried to do as much as I could. Uh, I didn't want to get hit by a car, so I didn't do that. Uh, I'd been hit by a car when I was 18, and that was once was enough for me. Um, and I didn't fall off a building. But all the rest of the, most of the stunts I pretty, I pretty much did myself. My, my, my stunt double was called Leaf. Um, and Leaf was... Uh, is one of the best motorcycle stunts. I know that he was, he did all of Deadpool's motorcycle stunts and Deadpool and stuff, so. Um, but Leaf pretty much, he stood in for me most of the time, so, yeah. Oh, he did a great job. Thank you. Yes, Bye. thank you very much. Hi, Corinne. Um, I love Captain Fro. <laughs> I shoot Captain Fro very much. And I would love to, I, I would like to know, uh, in your opinion, uh, how many times Fell on the floor because I've come to them. <laughs> How many times I fell on the floor? Yes. Do you mean intentionally in the script or because I'm just clumsy in general? Uh, no, no, in general. In general, in general a lot. Uh, 
I even broke my foot doing it. So, um, but yeah, Captain Hook seemed to fall on the floor quite a bit. Uh, so, yeah, a lot. I was on the floor a lot. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks. Hi, what was the most annoying co-actor on the show? <laughs> He still wants to work in Hollywood, so... It was uh, Pogo the dog. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Hi, Colleen. I just wanted to know what was the most difficult scene you had to shoot uh, in Once Upon a Time? I think emotionally the most difficult scene was the scene where Emma kills Hook. Dark Hook, I think. Spoiler alert. <laughs> Spoiler alert, again, he comes back to life, don't worry about it. Um, uh, yeah, it's when Emma killed so it was emotionally the... It was a really tough shoot, we had, it was really late at night, it was wet. It was just emotionally, it was a lot. Um, physically, physically it was tough when, we, when it was um, the middle of the night, like at 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock in the morning, and you're up at the side of a mountain in Vancouver, and it's raining on top of you, and I just had a blouse. Um, so with, that was open down to my navel. So that was physically when it was tough, was when it was really cold. So, yeah. Okay, thank you. Thanks. Hi, Colin. Let me first say that um, I enjoyed watching you a lot, and that was not just because you were looking really hot on screen, but <laughs> also because I liked the way you act, and that uh, devious side of you that always came out was just very fun to watch. Do you have an, Thank you. an episode that you would like the most of all that you have played? Favorite episode. Favorite episode. Well, thank you very much. They used a lot of CGI on me. Uh, I don't think so. As I'm sure you can tell, looking at me here. Um, uh, but my favorite episode was is there's a few. I really liked the first episode I was in. Obviously. Um, I loved the episodes, the Back to the Future kind of episode where Emma and Hook go into the past, into the fairy tale past. And I really liked the musical episode. Thank you. Thanks very much. Hi, Colin. Uh, I saw you appeared also in the TV show. That's not really Close to the microphone, please. No, please. You appeared also in the Tudors as Philippe of Bavier. Yes. And so I would like to know, would you have liked to appear more in this historical series or do you just like the fantasy nobody series like Once Upon a Time? Yeah, so I, was, I did one episode of The Tudors and that kind of... I was uh, like a... I was a work jobbing actor in Ireland at the time. I wasn't getting a huge amount of work. And that's the show that six, eight months later I was, work, I was sitting on a set opposite Anthony Hopkins. And it was because of those, literally those eight minutes in the Tudors. Um, somebody in LA got in touch with me and I went over and I took my chance. And I worked really hard to try and get, and then, so I absolutely loved being in it. I think it was a great show, and you know, I, I, I was literally in eight minutes of that show, but I, you know, people seemed to like the character. And, oh, yeah, I would like to have done more, but good things came out of it, so I'm happy with it. Thank you, you did great. Thank you. Uh, hi, I was wondering what made you attracted to playing Hook? Like, what, what did you like about it when you auditioned, auditioned for it? Did you just want to wear, like, the leather pants or...? <laughs> at the time I didn't know I was going to have leather pants. If I'd known I was going to wear leather pants, I would have definitely, I would have jumped at the chance. Um, I just, after speaking to Eddie and Adam, I knew that they were going to do something different with it. Um, and I loved the movie Hook as a kid. Uh, and getting the chance to play like such an iconic character was, uh, was massive. And, at the time, I knew that they had announced that Hook was coming onto the show at Comic Con, and it was a huge, it was a huge, big deal. So, uh, and I was, I was excited to get to play a villain, you know. Thank you. Thanks. Hi. Um, is there a Once Upon a Time character with whom you haven't had a proper storyline with? 
you would want it to have one and who would it be and what would the storyline be about? Well, that's a good question. I think I was lucky because I, I think I pretty much got to have a storyline with nearly everybody. I don't know... I don't know... I don't know that I, there was any character I didn't have a storyline with. Mulan, maybe? No, I had one with Mulan. Oh, yeah. okay. <laughs> I had one with Mulan. Um, somebody, somebody out there probably knows a character that I didn't have a, a storyline with, but I think pretty much everybody. Um, yeah, I can't think. I, th I think it was everybody. Okay. And a, a little side question. Would you ever want to be in Doctor Who? Would I ever want to be in Doctor Who? Would you want me to be in Doctor Who? Yes, please. <laughs> well then, yes. <laughs> yeah. I could be a Doctor, I think. Thank, Thank you. you. Is, it, is it hard to play a role like Captain Hook? Uh, no. No. Uh, uh, it's a lot of fun. You have to sort of give yourself over to the fun of it. What's a lot is I didn't realize how big a show it was and how big an impact it would have on people, which is incredible. Uh, but it's a lot sometimes doing Q&As in front of a lot of people uh, when somebody hasn't given you a script to read. So. Um, but no, it's a lot of fun, so thank you very, thank much. You very much. Hi, Captain. Hello, my queen. <laughs> Are you still in contact with the other cast members of A Once Upon a Time? Am I still in contact? Yeah, with the yeah. other? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Who? Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll go through my text messages. Uh, Sean, uh, Mikey, um, who else? John, Mikey, <laughs> Sean, <laughs> Mikey, <laughs> Liam, Garrigan, uh, Sean, <laughs> uh, Georgina, uh, 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 Bex. There's a lot, lots of people, lots of people. So everybody. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks. Hi there. Hello. Hello. I just want to say thank you for bringing a great Captain Hook to the screen because it really changed a lot of my younger years. I really loved it. Oh, thank you very much. And uh, my question was, if except for the jacket, you brought anything else from the the set of Once Upon a Time, like a trinket that you wanted to hold on to, that maybe wasn't allowed. <laughs> it's my time to go. Uh, I they actually ABC allowed me to keep my entire Captain Hook costume. With the hook. So, I have that at home in my wardrobe. Why? And it still fits, so that's good. Uh, so I have that, and yeah, my hook. So that was really, that was a big one. Um, to keep the hook, so I have the original hook at home with me. Yeah. So when you bring home a date, you insure the hook, or? Do, have I insured it? Yeah. Uh, no. Yeah, yes. <laughs> yeah. No, I have the hook. So Thank it's good. you very much. Thank you. Hi. Um, first, small question. Do you like cats? Uh, yes. R right answer. Yeah. Um, second <laughs> question. Do you, do you like cats? I do. I really do. <laughs> uh, no, I was wondering, uh, top of mind, what was one of your favorite scenes to shoot and one of your least favorite? One of my favorite scenes, uh, I liked shooting the pirate song in the musical, even though I broke my foot in the middle of singing, um, but I liked doing that, that was one of my favorites. Uh, and also one of my least favorites, because I broke my foot like an idiot uh, and had to keep dancing on it for six hours. So. Um, yeah, that was probably it. I can't think of any other scenes that I didn't like to shoot. If there was any reason I didn't like shooting a scene, it was probably because, like I said, it was really cold. And that was it. Thank you very much. Thank you. Hi, uh, my question is, um, if you weren't an actor, what would you do for work? 
If I wasn't an actor, yeah, what would you do? I'd be a pizza chef. <laughs> I love making pizza. So, um, if not that, then I was going to go to art college. I was going to go study animation and model making special effects. So, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Hi. Hello. Um, I'm a huge Once Upon a Time fan and I had no idea that you did a play in Ypres. I was born there, I still live there, so I was wondering what was your impression of the city? Uh, I loved it, it was amazing. Um, we did the play, it was a two-person play about an Irish poet called Francis Ledwich who had been killed in Ypres. In, and, um, so we performed it on the spot where uh, quite, quite a lot of people, we list the name of people and we performed it there, so it was pretty powerful. Um, but I just remember it was a beautiful, uh, it was a really beautiful place. Uh, and I remember the really strong beer. And I don't remember much after that. So, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Hello. How is, Hello. It? How is your stay? Oh, whoa. How is your um, days in Belgium helping? Good, I got in yesterday afternoon, so it's not been that long, but it's been good. Um, what's your favorite blooper of the set? Favorite blooper? Yes. Uh, some people will know this already, but it's uh, Robert Carlyle jumped on top of my delicate area, <laughs> uh, but, which is a blooper you can watch. Yeah, but um, like another blooper, because we all know that one. Another blooper? Yes. <laughs> I mean, uh, I always fall, I slip. I walk into things. I can't think of any other ones. That's the most memorable one because it's incredibly painful. Uh, but oh, another blooper uh, is I got a bullseye without looking. I had, there's a scene where I had to throw a dart like that, and I'm supposed to get a bullseye on the script, and I did it first time. We finished the scene. And I turned around and I just went like that, bang, and I went in, bullseye straight away, and I turned around to the camera and went. <laughs> And I completely ruined the take, so they couldn't use it. Thank so they had, they had to cut into a close-up, like an idiot. I ruined it. Thank you. Thanks. Hi, Colin. Hello. What is your favorite personality trait of Hook and why? His confidence. Uh, I wish I was as confident as uh, Captain Hook is. Um, yeah, so that was... <laughs> Um, his, yeah, his confidence, because uh, I'm quite shy and quiet, so um, he's really outgoing, so that, that's it. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Hello. Hi. Hello. Uh, I just want to ask you, is there going to be a kind of show with a reunion of the whole crew and show on television for us also as big fans? I mean... Would you, would you want there to be? Yes, because we loved it when Harry Potter did it and now we hope that Once Upon a Time does it as well. We are big fans. We all are big fans. I mean, that's not for me to answer, so... Uh, Maybe you could ask the crew if they want to do it. For the fans. I'm sure, I'm sure I could. Maybe you guys should let them know that you want us to do it. So, if you please... Yeah, you can ask me. You want to ask the bosses. Or you ask Regina and then see everybody has to come. If anybody knows Mickey Mouse, they should say it to Mickey Mouse and see what happens. <laughs> okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Hi Collins. Hello. Uh, you're amazing, <laughs> first of all. Thank you. And my question is, there's like a lot of Once Upon a Time conventions, right? So like, uh, based on only Once Upon a Time. Uh, what is your favorite one you've been to from the like official Once Upon a Time conventions? My favorite official is this not is this not official? Can I not say this? Uh, well, this is. Well, I mean, like the conventions where you have like the only once upon a time cast, you know. I think any I think any of them are, are good because you know once as once upon a time cast and crew were so lucky to have amazing fans and people who love the show and are passionate about the show. So I think I think they've all been amazing and people have always just been really kind and respectful and. I mean, that's all you can ask for. 
Thank you. Thanks. Uh, which was your favorite scenery? What was my favorite scenery? In one of, Once Upon a Time? Uh, I loved, be, I always loved when we had the Lady Washington, which was my pirate ship, which was the Jolly Roger. And um, it was incredible. And what was really incredible was on the set, the green screen, they built a full replica of the ship that was on airbags, so it would move like that, and it would, as if you were in sea. So that was pretty incredible. Thanks. Hi. Hello. Uh, I was wondering how the audition process uh, is going on. And also, uh, how did you find out you got the part of book? Uh, I had to go in and do a reading. Um, and I had done a pilot for ABC, which none of you have seen, and probably will never see, with Angela Bassett, uh, the year that Once Upon a Time was the show. And so, I went in and auditioned and ABC kind of knew me and then Eddie and Adam, I got a phone call the next day saying they wanted to meet me. And I went in and then that afternoon I got a phone call saying I got offered the part. That was it. Then I was Captain Hook. Thank Yay. you. Yeah. Hi, um, first of all, I saw you in the Netherlands earlier this year in uh, Euro's Dutch Comic Con, so it's really cool to be able to see you again in Belgium. Um, so thank you for coming to FACTS. Um, I just had one question about uh, the voice acting you've done recently because most of the questions are about Once Upon a Time, of course. Yeah. What do you think about voice acting? Do you like it? What are some challenges that you, um, yeah, that you encountered when you did uh, the voice so acting? I've been, I've been lucky. Um, so for anybody who doesn't know, I, I did a voice on uh, a show called Troll Hunters and Wizards, uh, a character called Duxy. Um, which was made uh, by Guillermo del Toro. And then I just had a movie came out where I played an Irish leprechaun called Jerry. Um, and what's great about doing the voice acting is that you, you have to go way over the top. So like if I was on camera now and I was saying, to, like when Jerry comes in on one of the scenes and he goes in and, go, and so I come in and say, oh, hi, hey guys, here, I got your coffee. Whereas voice acting, you have to go way over the top. So, oh, lads, how's it going? Oh, it's great to see you. Oh. Because then they animate to that. So they an you might, it might seem ridiculous here, but on camera, it, it seems like it's just normal. You know, so everything has to be way bigger. And I'm a ham, so, I mean, it meant that I got to ham it up and really go for it, you know? Okay, great, thank you. Thanks very much. Um, hello, I have a little philosophical question for you. If you were in a magical world and you would have the chance to have a dinner with Captain Hook, what would the topic of the night be? It would probably be the fact that we look really alike. <laughs> I would say. Um, if I could have dinner with Captain Hook, what would we do? I'd want to hear about all of his adventures in his past. That'd be good. That'd be a good show. Captain Hook's past. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it will be. <laughs> Thank you. Know, you. Uh, I want to know what his deal is with uh, Captain Jack. So I think he mentioned at one point there was an issue with Jack Sparrow. Oh. So, yeah. We'll see. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, uh, welcome in Belgium. I was wondering what's your favorite Pixar movie? My favorite Pixar movie? Yes. I think it's probably Cars. That's a really good one. Uh, that's a controversial choice. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's well. I mean, I would. I mean, I love them all. Toy Story is great. They're all great. But Cars, Cars was the first Pixar movie that my son really, really got into, and I'd never seen it. And, and the music is good. Yeah. Hmm. And the music is really good. Too. Yeah, the music is really good. The whole thing, the whole story is great. So uh, I'm going to say Cars. Thank you. Controversial, but I'll say it. <laughs> Colin, uh, which character would you like to play in Once Upon a Time if you weren't um, Captain Hook? Rumpelstiltskin. A lot of people thought I was going to say the Evil Queen because I say it every time. I'm going to say Rumpelstiltskin today. Is that because he's evil too and you like to play the evil parts? It's just I like doing the Scottish accent, so that'll be it. Yes. Oh, dearie. <laughs> 
think I'd be good at it. Thank you. Thank you. Hi. Uh, you said that the musical scene was your favorite scene, so my question is, do you still know the song Revenge is gonna be mine, and can you sing a little part of it? I do still know it, yes, and uh, <coughs> my voice isn't really great today, so I don't know. Come on! Revenge, revenge, revenge is gonna be mine. Sorry. That's gonna be on the internet now. That's You're welcome. Ten. Hello. Hello. So, um, my question is since. Um, since. Uh, D, B, F, what is the symbol of the E of the Lucas? That was not it. <laughs> okay. So, uh, since Once Upon a Time is mostly also based on fairy tales and folklore, it makes one wonder, what is your favorite fairy tale? Hansel and Gretel. Uh, I just always loved that as a kid. Um, but, I mean the kids version of it, I think. Not like the really dark version. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, Hansel and Gretel. Thank you. Thank you. Hi Colin, I was sitting over there and you said your favorite food is pizza. Yeah, I, I mean, look, that's a serious outfit. <laughs> and um, what's your least favorite food? My least favorite food? Uh, I can't eat raw tomatoes. I can eat any cooked tomato. I can't eat raw tomatoes. I don't know why, it just makes me feel not great. And. I don't know why I'm saying this is like a question that I'm getting asked in front of a lot of people. It's silly. Uh, mayonnaise. But, but, I went for dinner last night and I didn't order it, but it became a fries, because obviously. Uh, and it was homemade mayonnaise. And honestly, it was the best thing I've ever had with my chips in my life. That's what you have But see, like, Hellman's mayonnaise and stuff? Can't do it. Thank you. Can't do it. No, you. Mayonnaise is something else. I know, you see, I knew it was going to be, I knew it was going to get a reaction by saying mayonnaise, but, yeah. Good afternoon. Oh, good afternoon. I was going to ask you to sing, but I'm not going to do it. Good. But we loved, loved your uh, music and your song, and I was wondering, and we are wondering, when you're going to record uh, an album or an another song? We are waiting for it, really. Oh, uh, thank you very much. Um, I don't know, we'll see. Uh, I know that I've spoken to Paddy about it, who I played with, uh, and we'll see. I don't think I'm that good, so we'll see. Okay, we're we'll going to, my, to uh, wait for it. Okay, good. First is about Once Upon a Time, and my question is, what did you think of the ending for Captain Hook, and what would you like to? Which ending? Yeah. Which which ending? Both. <laughs> uh, I think they were both great. I think I was delighted that he got his happy ending with Emma, which I think they both deserved, um, and I was delighted that the Wish Realm or the alternate version of Hook got his sort of happy ending with, with Alice and Stoller. And that was a really important one for me because I literally at the start of that season, I had a daughter. My wife gave birth to our daughter, so it was a very special storyline for me. And my second question is, what is so different about filming a series and recording a music video for you personally? What's the difference between doing a TV series and a music video? Yeah. Uh, time. It's like a music, I think the music video I did for Christina Perry, I think that we did maybe over two days. That was it, I think, two, three days maximum. And then, well, mind you, like an episode of Once Upon a Time, we shot over eight days. So, and that's not a lot of time. So a lot of the stuff that we did on Once Upon a Time, we shot, you, it, it would take maybe four months if it was a movie. We did it in eight days. It's a lot. Thank 
well, anybody here who does a TV series, it just, it's so much more. Well, it's different nowadays because, see, once upon a time we did 22 episodes and then there was three seasons of 23, whereas most TV series now are between 8 and 12 episodes, but they shoot over the same length of time that we would have shot once upon a time. So, there's a little bit more time to, to get to play. Okay, great. Thank you. Thank you. Hi. Um, I was wondering, what is uh, your um, hidden talent, except maybe making pizza, of course? My hidden talent? Yeah. Well, it's hidden for a reason. <laughs> um, oh God, I don't know. I can shuffle a deck of cards one-handed. Uh, because I had to do it on the show. I can do the worm. Uh, Will you show as an example? I've, <laughs> it's, like I'm, it's like I'm a performing monkey. All the other talents can stay hidden. Thank you very much. Thanks. Okay, guys, final question. Hi. Hello. That was a beautiful war. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thanks. Um, what was your first reaction when reading the scene where Emma stabs you and eventually kills you? Because I was uh, screaming and crying on the floor. <laughs> I thought it was great because I knew people would cry, so I thought it was... No, I thought it was brilliant because it gave the relationship so much depth. I mean, that was a great... I really enjoyed that season because I got to play a dark one. Um, and I loved being the villain in the second season, or one of the villains. And so it was great to be able to go back to that mischief and sort of, you know, even in front of Robert Carlyle, sort of do rumble to him, which he was not happy about. Um, it was so much fun. Did you see it coming? Or hmm? Did you see it coming? He w uh, did I see it coming with the yeah. dark one? Yeah, the guys had told me before that I was going to do it, but he didn't know that I was going to go, get your affairs in order, dearie! Like that. He didn't know I was going to do that. He looked at me like this. <laughs> so, but I had so much fun with Bobby. We, we really... You know, we really clicked and, and worked well together, so, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, guys, you. put your hands together, give a big Ghent Belgian warm welcome to Colin! Thank you so much. Thanks, everyone.